Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Um, we are in a very different setup today because I had a new idea for a video and it's inspired by, I can't remember her name or her username but it's going to be right here. She did a video just like looking at cool people's Pinterest boards and you guys always ask me how I find inspo. So I wanted to show you guys a few cool people I follow, how to find cool people to follow within your style if your style isn't the same as mine. And also let's just like look at some inspo together on Pinterest because that's so fun. Before we get into this video though, I wanted to say thank you so much to Karma for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the sponsorship and then we'll come right back to dive into Pinterest. I think right now is the perfect time to be talking about Karma again. Using it around Christmas time when I'm trying to get a list for myself to give out to family and also plan my family's presents I'm going to get for them. I always want to make sure I'm getting the best deal I can and not wasting any money and Karma is perfect for that. I got myself the desktop you're looking at this whole video for my birthday back in October and I had it saved on Karma for a really long time just waiting for any price change and that was immediately when I jumped on it. To download Karma, use the link in my description box and it will take you right to the download for the Chrome extension. You can visit any of your favorite stores and the little slider button will be right there always for you to save items. You can get notifications via email or mobile push when an item you've saved goes on sale, has a relevant coupon code, or comes back in stock. This is my Christmas wish list right now. I wiped out all my other lists and I wanted to start fresh and this is what we've got going on. Karma also scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at checkout automatically. This is a special feature if you use Karma on your computer, so the Chrome extension is an absolute must. And when you shop from select retail partners, Karma gives cash back to you and to a good cause. To download Karma's Chrome extension, just check out the link in the description box. It's so easy and I cannot recommend it enough. Before anybody says anything about my hat, I didn't want to do my hair and this is what happened. But I think it's kind of cute. It's cozy. I've got like PJs on and this hat definitely goes really well together. I might get an ick wearing it though during this video because I'm going to see my profile of myself in this hat and I've never seen that before. Before I started this video, I wanted to make sure I just had some people to like look through with you guys that I thought would be fun and different and now you guys can see my screen. This is my Pinterest like, what is this called? Explore page. And then this is my profile obviously. If you guys have a similar sense of style as me, follow my pinterest board but the first person when i'm thinking of who i want to look for for inspo obviously just like celebrities and influencers in general not every celebrity has a pinterest board or influencer has a pinterest board but just look up their name and it will pop up and you'll really quickly be able to tell if it's real or not so someone who does have a pinterest and it uses it often is Emma Chamberlain and I know and she's verified she literally it says she pinned one day ago this is a really good way to get inspiration that Emma's getting without like just copying Emma what I've realized Ernie look at my dog everybody what I've noticed and we're gonna see this with one other person showing a little bit People who just have like a good sense of style and don't need to like copy other people, they save clothing pieces, which is so bizarre to me because I save outfits. I rarely save just like individual clothing pieces, but you can see here Emma saves a lot of just like specific items that she's obviously going to put together in her own way later and I just thought that was something cool like that I noticed stalking people's Pinterest board. Her Pinterest board actually I l love it and I love when people just save like one individual item. Um, it's a lot more creativity and using your imagination rather than when people do those like recreating Pinterest outfits and tiny Jewish girl on TikTok she makes the like perfect parody of those where she's like I'm gonna recreate Hailey Bieber's street style and then she's like yeah but I don't like that so I'm gonna put this on but I don't actually like that so I'm gonna put this on and I know it's a parody but it's like that's what we should be doing like you take inspo you don't flat out copy other people's outfits 
Not that I've never done that before. Obviously, Emma Chamberlain was like, duh. But I just had to show you guys, or show those of you who didn't know she had a Pinterest. Um, I wanted to show you her Pinterest because I figured you would like it. The next thing I did was thought of celebrities who I really like their style. And obviously, people like Hailey Bieber and Kendall Jenner, they don't dress themselves most often. They have stylists. So I looked up who their stylists were. The first one was Danny Michelle and she is, I just had to make sure I didn't get mixed up. The first one's Danny Michelle and she styles Kendall Jenner and she has a Pinterest that she definitely uses. Okay, so the last time she used it was 10 weeks ago, but you never know when like they're gonna come back. And also just because you're looking at someone's old pins doesn't mean you can't take inspo from it. Sometimes it's nice to see older photos. She saves a lot of like vintage stuff, takes inspo from that, which I really, really like. And she has her clothing categorized so well, like street style, supermodel, Christmas, cool girl, Y2K menswear i'm gonna look at christmas because i want inspo for that and this like her inspo is so cool it's not like basic christmas pinterest inspo where like you're making a christmas tree out of acorns ernie why are you crying mr bean i also want to look at cool girl and then i want to look at y2k she has such good stuff this feels y2k to me this is cute it's all summer stuff so i'm like not in the mood for it y2k because i don't normally like oh this is good y2k this is the best y2k board i've ever seen yeah definitely give her a follow and then something i do when i like find somebody good like this with a good board this is a good y2k board i love this board damn i need to come back and look at this later you want to go to who they follow she follows 16 people i don't really know if they're like i don't know i didn't look through them yet but if you find somebody you like on pinterest definitely look at who they're following and it's most likely going to be just more stuff you like which is fun next person is my best friend she is my number one inspo i literally have said this a million times it's amanda she is so much more like effortlessly stylish compared to me does that make sense like i literally like copy her outfits all the time and her pinterest right here she has wardrobe goals and you're gonna see she pins like pieces not outfits and i think that's a sign of she's creative and like emma not me i have to pin full outfits but she's a really cool like cool girl aesthetic I don't know, I love her board. I come here all the time and like stalk it. I don't even know if she knows that I look at her Pinterest quite honestly. She might find out from this video. She has a really cool Pinterest board. It's pretty small if you ask me. Amanda, can you please start saving more? Lots of hair stuff. Something else or another page I like to look at. You know what I hate? That like the Pinterest main feed refreshes every time. Like what if I miss something? Like I have to save these before I lose them. The next time I come back. Also, don't pay attention to the random anime that comes up on my board. If you have a Pinterest board that you don't like your feed as it is right now because of old stuff you used to save or whatever, make a new one. It is so hard to get stuff off your page that you've saved once. Actually, I've never even saved any anime stuff. I just click on it and now it's all naruto and haikyuu and there's weird what's it called there's weird ships between characters and it's all over my pinterest and i hate it it really bothers me when um, people ship characters that aren't supposed to be together so another page i like to look at is vogue they have vogue for like every country and then just vogue magazine i think i follow all of them but Something you can do on Pinterest, which I really like, because I do not care to follow all of these boards. I'll just pick one that I like to, that I like. So like street style, let's pick. And I think I'm already following it. Yeah. You can just follow specific boards from, oh, like full person. So if you only want your account to be fashion stuff, like go through and only follow the fashion stuff from certain people. I love 
the Vogue stuff, you guys. It's so good. And because this is just like real people wearing things like out on the street. And it's not influencers like getting dressed to go like take photos. Like, um, if you guys don't follow, this is another good. So are we done with Pinterest? I think that's all I want to talk about with Pinterest. YouTube. Unknown vlogs on YouTube. He does all these videos where he's like around London normally but he's been like in Paris recently Italy and he does videos where he just goes up to like stylish people on the street and says like oh what are you wearing and these people just like tell him what he's they're wearing today and it's so cute and just so like real like I want to do this so badly but um nobody's fashionable like this where I live but definitely 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 look at his YouTube channel it's so good to like just play this on your TV or play it in the background of doing something else and you like look over and it's like a new person every minute. It's amazing. I effing love it. Effing. And then also somebody who does this is, what's her name? Not So Blonde. She does it in Paris. Not So Blonde does it. Her editing's really, really cute. And again, she just like goes up and asks people what they're wearing in Paris and it's so fun to watch because it's real people. I don't know, I'm way more interested in like what people are wearing day to day than seeing like a posed photo of an influencer in an outfit they like put on to take a photo. I like to slander myself, it's okay you guys. <laughs> then let's go to Instagram and this will be the last one. So Instagram, look who just came up, she already knew. My girl Amanda, I told you she's my inspo for everything I've ever done. But definitely check out Amanda. Again, her style is so good. Her Everything she does is like aesthetic and pretty. I literally like don't understand why she doesn't have a bigger following. She's like my favorite Instagram account ever. Also, TZE Fits. I've talked about her before. Totally different style, but I feel like I'm a mix between Amanda and this account. She's so sweet also. Her photos are like just super clean and just show your her outfits because she has a full instagram just for her outfits which i love like she's just going out wearing these and then she'll take a photo and put it on her like outfit account it's not like excuse me it doesn't feel overly posed and her outfits don't feel overly done they just feel real so definitely check her out love 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 her outfits and then oh i want to show you guys these three accounts because they're so cool I don't remember what they're called. There's a couple of them. Okay. This one's Londoners in London. And it is, again, just people out and about. Somebody takes a photo of them because their outfit's cool or unique or ugly. Who cares? And <laughs> they put it on this account. And it's so good. I get so much inspo here because, again, it's just real people wearing cool things. Love, love, love that. It's not influencers. They also have, why am I feeling the need to like attack influencers today? I don't know. I can't, I don't know. Then there's one for Milan, which like just good. I follow all of them. Paris and Copenhagen. Copenhagen was the first one I found because I just like sweatpants and six inch heels. Of course. What else would you be doing? And then the Copenhagen one. They're just, oh my God, I want to knit this. I've never wanted that until I just saw it on her. It's just good stuff. Like, yeah, but those are my main sources of inspo right now. I hope this helped you guys find inspo maybe in a different way or just some new accounts to follow. I'll have everybody linked down below that I talked about today. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to check out Karma. Thank you again to Karma for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys in a few days. This is fun. I had fun. I love you so much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Bye.